Hello and welcome to the Australian Inventors Laser Lab. So our first test material that we're going to cut uh, is it's a three millimeter or eighth of an inch uh, MDF which is white coated on one side and ordinary MDF on the other. So what you do uh, there again, this is my, you don't have to do this, but it's just my, I suppose, recommendation. You just put the material on here like this. You don't have to clamp this material, it won't generally move. Okay. There's two reasons for this. Is The first reason is you need an air gap underneath because the airflow from this flows through these vents, across the material, it goes down through here and it also goes down at the back. So you want an, a, a cross sort of uh, flow to get rid of the smoke because the smoke or gases that are given off actually uh, absorb a lot of the laser's power, the laser beam's power. Um, so you need to extract all the smoke and debris so the laser can do its job. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write a very very the most simplest program um, now we're just going to cut a square and we're going to try different powers and different feeds and we're going to find the most appropriate feed and power to cut this cleanly. This is a laser cut 6.1 which is um, free for download on the internet. So what we're going to do is simply go to the square or rectangle box here. Just come down anywhere, it doesn't really matter where and left click and left click and you see that uh, up in this corner up here is gone to a uh, a black layer it's normally which is the first layer down here each one of these colors is a separate layer in other words you can choose an item to go into a particular color layer and you can treat that item separately with a, a um, uh, a separate setting of the laser um, speed and feeds and power so now what we're going to go is up here this is a just a, a highlighting um, or a pointer so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on this okay and then we're going to click on the side with uh, left key then right key uh, sorry, right, yeah, right key of the mouse, uh, and then we're going to click on size. Now, if you notice here, we got old size, new size. Now, if you want to keep um, the dimension ratio, you click that. Well, we don't want to do that because they're they're actually odd numbers. So what we do is highlight that and just write fifty point zero for 50 millimeters which is roughly two inches um, just under actually um, 50.0 so so you've got some idea that you Americans that uh, you know I always work in millimeters but in this situation with lasers um, both measurement systems is used and I'll go into that in you know later videos all right so now we have an exactly 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter and we'll just move it there so it's right in that square and we'll zoom back out really doesn't matter now we'll keep it selected so what we're going to do now is go up into this corner and we're going to set up shall we say for writing the program now it's already set on cut and it has 
um, settings already in here, but we're going to highlight that and we're going to reset this. Um, work speed, well, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to start off slow, so we're going to say 10 millimeters per second. Uh, we're going to leave these as they are. Um, now, this is only 3 millimeter or eighth of an inch MDF. Now, that 80%, not 80 watts, this is 80% output, and we'll go into that in more detail in another video. But at the moment, uh, I will tell you that 85% on this scale is close to a hundred watts so the maximum that I would ever put this um, these figures in would be 85% because after 85% you start overdriving the tube remember what I was saying earlier about the tube well this is this is something you need to know and not a lot of people do know until it's hit them in the pocket. Um, so what you, I need to do now is alter this. So I'm going to set it deliberately a little high. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say 70% output. I know it sounds a little confusing at the moment, but bear with me. Uh, over the next few videos, you will come to realize what I'm saying. Uh, because you're not going to fully understand or realize um, on the first video. So, um, we say OK, and it'll take a, a few seconds for the program to work out the settings and write the code and it's done it. So now we're going to switch the machine on and send the code to the controller on the machine. Okay so we're going to turn the machine on because the controller needs to be live for me to send a, a file through to it so here we go and uh, it'll take a second for the machine to come up okay so it's ready to receive a file so it's simply done you go down to download which is in this bottom corner press that which opens up another dialog box now there's a lot of confusion uh, people tend to download config you only ever need to do this once uh, in, in fact our machines are already preset so you never have to do it at all it's this is the one you need to, to go to is download current file one click this will come up press OK this is just general information on the file uh, what it means is it's uh, video one um, test number one and you abbreviate everything that you can and it's as quick as that and this tells me that it's been accepted and it has actually been sent to the machine so now you can close that and come out um, sometimes you will see me running this machine with this uh, door open now this is my personal machine it's my company um, I know exactly what I am doing I urge you never run the machine with this open it is a health hazard so heed the warning so now what we need to do now is set up this nozzle the right height and the right position over this material to cut that square out. So we're now jogging over using the, the 
jog keys on the computer. The actual measurement that I'm looking for here is nine and a half millimeters. Uh, this is a two, two inch lens in here and the lens is up in here. So from the underside of the lens to the top of the material needs to be two inches within a millimeter. Because the laser as it comes out of the uh, lens next down uh, it's a little bit like an hourglass and uh, it'll neck down come to a, a parallel area which is about this much about an, just uh, about three quarters of an inch and then it'll start necking back out so that is your cutting area there so now I'm going to press the test uh, button so I'm going to see whether I'm in the right vicinity uh, for the material to cut this out. Okay, so we're going to get it in there. Now, this MDF is quite smoky. So, with this open, there's going to be quite a, quite a bit of fumes. But I have got fans in the workshop that, you know, sort of keep it away from me. Plus the extraction system does tend to suck it away, but obviously it is not quite as efficient with this open. Um, okay, so I'm going to push that and the laser will fire and um, it'll cut it out. Let's see what happens with this first test. You can see all the smoke is coming out on the underside, so I know it's, the laser is penetrating all the way through. And indeed, it's cut it out. And it's quite cool, quite cool to the touch. Now let me just get a piece of paper. Now this is the best method of finding out, well you can actually see that it's black. Uh, there's tannish on the upper side. The lower side you can see that well, it's a little bit black creeping around there too. So uh, it's not too bad. But there is, whoa, the blowy. There is some coming out on the on the uh, paper. But you can see it is black. Now we should be able to set this uh, at a level where you can see the MDF. It's not quite this color, it's just a, a shade or two darker than this. Uh, but this is um, this is overkill. This is actually charring nearly to charcoal. So um, we can reduce, the. we can do two things. And we're going to do both things. We can reduce the amount of power that we're putting through the laser and we can raise the cutting speed. So that's what we're going to do next. We've got a fly buzzing around in here. This is annoying, but there you go. Um, so what we do is you come over to this um, cut area here, the dialog open this back up and you simply um, we can alter this we can take this down to well we know that this was very 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 um, too much power so I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to go 40 let's go 45 45 so with this power one this is set up for 
actually two power heads, two two lasers. Um, j just ignore the second w uh, row down here. So we just go 45 and 45. Um, and we're going to raise this up to, oh, I think we can go quite a bit faster, we've got to 15. And press OK. And we'll load that into the machine. OK, um, so this is the, the screen. It's a very simple screen, it just gives you the bare information. You can actually alter the, um, the feed rate and the... Um, the, the power uh, actually from this console but I prefer to do it from the computer so to put another file in I always make it uh, I think it's good practice to delete the fo previous file uh, that way you don't mistakenly put, uh, run the wrong file and you don't fill the memory up it's quite a large memory but there you go it's just personal preference so to erase this file you need to press this and come all the way down to delete and press that. Now it's erased. So now we can put the new file in. Alright, so I've um, loaded the file up and I've repositioned the, um, the nozzle, the laser nozzle in the area to do the second cut. So here we go. Have a look at this. So there's the first and there's the second. If you can pick that out, it is only very, very slightly lighter. Uh, but the result is, oh, you see on the back, so there's no hint of sort of overcharring on the back. Uh, but on the front side, there's a little bit of a um, little bit of muck. Um, only very very marginally better so now um, we're going to try oh I think we can probably go up to 25 and maybe bring this back down to 40 so that'll be the next test okay so I've loaded this one in now I think this is going to be the perfect cut now I set this at 35 millimeters a second cut in speed and 35% um, power out of the laser. So let's see what it does. Ooh. Okay, so uh, let's zoom the camera out a bit. Um, because that is on the brink of falling out, which is actually pretty well a perfect cut. It just hangs in there like that. You just notice it's, it's hanging out. Look at that. That's pretty well a perfect cut. And I think what we'll do is we'll compare the ones that we've, uh, we've done now. Right, so this is the first one that we did at um, 10 millimeters a second and 70% power output, 15, 45, 25, 40, 30, uh, 35, and 35, 35. Now then, so if we pick up that first one, you get some white background, you can see it's pretty black. Get the one in the middle, we'll see, it's a bit browner. When we get to this one, it's pretty good. So what you do is you get your comparisons like this. You can sort of... Now that tells the story. And this is all about power output and feed rate. will get you 
a good result. Now this is pretty well a perfect perfect cut. Uh, as no real no charring. See this is charring is black so there's no charring here. It's a very very clean nice cut. Um, but on all of them you get this uh, muck. This is the smoke that's condensed back onto the top of this material. Uh, you can actually uh, wipe it off with a bit of, uh, well actually soapy water, uh, damp, damp soapy water rag. You can wipe this off, it will come off but it gives you extra work. But there is a trick and I'm going to show you that trick right now. If you want to cut down on manual work when you're doing these sort of things, if you're using this any type of this sort of uh, MDF stuff. Okay, so the little trick actually is, especially with this white card and stuff, you want to cut letters out and you want a nice clean cut, turn it over. I'll show you what the result is now. And incidentally, the reason for these standoffs and this metal, you see this muck here, it's the residue that's recondensing on this, this material because the air jet that's blowing at the end of the nozzle is blowing the smoke back down and actually making it attach to the top of the material. Well, because I've got a filtration system and I don't want to fill the filters up and rechange the, the carbon every couple of months, is if you have a, a, a piece of mild steel like this, got to be mild steel, not an, definitely not aluminium and definitely not stainless steel. A piece of black mild steel. If you notice here, this residue is condensing on here. And while it's condensing on here, which is a nice cold surface, it's not recondensing inside your filters. So you're catching a lot of this residue here, right here. And you can wipe this off with some methylated spirits or something like that. It'll come straight off. So it's rather the it's better to catch it here than what it is to fill your filters up. So there's another little tip for you. Now yeah, then we're going to put this, oh sorry, ring this way, okay, actually, yeah we'll put it there like that, that'll be fine, and we'll just jog that over, and much okay and we're gonna cut it right there So there you have it, nice clean cut edge and no muck on the good side that you want to use. So that's a very good tip for you. So this is um, an insight to the uh, next video. It's really taking uh, what we've done today, the next stage uh, further. So here we go.
so there we go. A little bit of um, etching. That is actually approximately 0 0.1 of a millimeter deep. So I hope you've liked um, this video on the laser today and um, this is the first real video on my new laser channel the Australian inventor laser lab um, so I hope you'll join me again for more I hope interesting um, tutorials and information about um, our lasers from uh, Pacific Tooling. If you would like to also pop across to my other channel, um, which there will be a link somewhere on my page, um, there you will see now 200 videos on CNC routers, wood turning, um, shop jobs, uh, that I do around here even a little bit of um, 3d printing but um, and I hope you've enjoyed the laser the first laser video today um, just general information and um, showing you a little bit of how to find your way of um, cutting feeds um, and speeds and <laughs> and uh, power output of the laser and I hope the general information about lasers and I will go into uh, the operation of lasers into great depth uh, as the, the months go on so from me now it's um, bye for now <laughs>